One of the greatest enemies in business is uncertainty, the problem of not being able to plan. Business owners are no fans of negative outlooks, but at least when you know what's going to happen, you can attempt to prepare and be ready to the best of your ability. This is one of the reasons many organisations representing businesses in the UK would prefer bad news when it comes to Brexit than the current darkness of uncertainty. Well, this current unknown is facing Scottish potato producers. So according to potato farmers in Scotland, there remains a great level of uncertainty surrounding their ability to sell to Northern Ireland post-Brexit. And this is causing millions of pounds in losses. Scotland's Environment Minister has gone so far as to accuse the government of treating the industry as expendable in the current EU-UK trade talks. Now, we've all heard the noise from Brexiteers when it comes to fisheries in Scotland and how they should be treated as a priority in the Brexit talks. Well, Scottish seed potato farmers, which are one of the biggest exporters for the production of chips and crisps in the world, have been told by Boris Johnson's government that it would be unlikely they would be able to export to Northern Ireland from the 1st of January as things currently stand. The Scottish sector for the industry accounts for 75% of UK production and is worth more than £200 million a year. Now this is six times the value of the recently signed fisheries deal with Norway. So what is the problem here? Why is there uncertainty? The centre of the problem is Northern Ireland's special place post-Brexit, following the EU's customs rules on food and animals coming in from Britain whether there is a trade deal or not. Now the UK has eased restrictions on movement from Northern Ireland to Great Britain for up to six months after the end of the transition period. However, the issue is with the movement from Scotland to Northern Ireland, as the latter will have access to the single market, so checks will take place. There is huge demand in the EU for these Scottish seed potatoes, as they're highly resistant to blight and better suited to the effects of climate change. There is a real risk that the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs will not be able to prepare the correct paperwork for this important product before the end of the transition period, and this could result in the Scottish seed potato being actually banned in a sense. Now, Scottish farmers have reached out to the government department for help and received the standard pre-Brexit reply, and I quote, We have already formally submitted the equivalence application on behalf of the UK to the European Commission and await their response. Once again, uncertainty is going to be the biggest headache for businesses post-Brexit. Companies and business owners can't prepare for the worst if they don't know what that actually is. Boris Johnson's government are jumping headfirst into either a no-deal Brexit or a bare-bones deal without knowing themselves the consequences of such an undertaking. It's all good and fine for Michael Gove and Boris Johnson to advise businesses to get ready for Brexit, but in many cases they will not be able to. Let me know in the comments section guys what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?